I think I'm streaming now. Did I hit the button? Looks like I hit the button. There it is. Streaming now. Sounds like me. Hmm. Uh, per part. Oh, uh, I need to put the link in. I was like, I know I'm forgetting something. Probably the link to my screen. Uh, okay, wow, Discord. You're not supposed to take 20 seconds to send shit. Anyway, there's the announcement. Wait, where's... Oh, Celeste isn't in my favorites. It's down here. Fair enough. That's turning on. See if the Twitch mobile app recognizes that I'm live yet. Or it doesn't. Yeah, well, it kind of does. Over here. Oh, there you go. <whistles> Ding. Oh, I can manage my channel directly from my phone. Sick. Let me just make sure the stream is good. Oh, it looks a little... How come there's a border on Twitch that there isn't on my OBS screen? That seems weird. Huh. Maybe my OBS, or maybe my Twitch is just red. Hi, Shell. Hi, Maid. I'll get to playing. Working away at the video game mines. Hold on, Mike. Hi, Vuz. I've got just like a pile of cords that stretch from my computer to the rest of my desk. Sometimes they get twisted. There we go. So where was I? I was on the B side of this. I figure the B side can be my warm up. Let's see. Do I remember my buttons? I do. That's not the right. Ah, That's a tricky one. Well, if I just jump into the spike, it's very tricky. I mean, they're basically all tricky ones from here on out. What are you going to do with your cauliflower shell? May I suggest using it in some sort of meal? Oops. <laughs> Sick.
Oh man, I find these twirly guys really hard. I've always, like, harder than I think I'm supposed to. There's something about timing it that just throws me off. Oh, that's mean! That's mean. That's a rare moment of meanness on the last step. I almost recovered in time. I bet it would have felt really, really cool if I'd done that right, though. Because it wouldn't have been that hard to just make that jump. But I'm coming into this cold, Celeste. Hi, turtle. Bye, turtle. You might have already left by the time I'm seeing you. A uh, new Platinum game announcement. Obviously, excited for it. Um, from what I can see so far, it looks very story-based. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, I think Platinum just sort of makes everything with a combat system that's interesting of some sort. Ah, oh, stupid. I got antsy. But, uh, the combat system looks cool, but it also looks like there's a lot of very long, flashy animations that don't really look cancelable or anything. Which makes me think it won't be that, you know, it doesn't look like a Devil May Cry, basically, to me. I could be wrong. Oops. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it'll be really cool, but my guess is it won't have... Shit. Oh, I can just dash... Anyway, I didn't pay... I did not even look ahead at the rest of the screen. I probably should. Okay. I didn't want to grab that, and then I helped grab... There we go, that's what I wanted. Wait, when do I want to dash? This won't work! Mm, I need to go to the other side, I panicked. My plan fell apart. Wait, uh, um... Oh, I need to get underneath it and then jump from the bottom. I see what I need to do. I was like, I can't find an angle that this works at. There we go. That's what I needed. And yeah, the game's willing to be more mean on the B-sides, because these are optional. It's... I don't want to say outright mean, but it's definitely like, we're not being nice anymore when we get to the seasides, but that's later. So what am I doing here? Probably not supposed to do that that way, but it's fine. Well, that's mean. Actually, not that mean. Oops! I just didn't hit the button right. Okay, I gotta find this just right, I guess. Oh, well, um... I didn't really look ahead. That was not the right timing. I did the dash, I'm like, I have not... I have not properly planned. This song's rad as hell. It's one of my favorites. I think I might say that about every song if I remember them. Although it doesn't really feel very celeste -y. Whoops!
I should just fall through the middle. And trust. Works every time. Ooh! Okay. There it is. I actually paid attention to what's in front of me. Oops. Okay, what am I doing here? Going... I'll just... I'll just figure it out as I go. Springs recharge your dash, too. Which isn't... Ever relevant in normal levels? It's probably relevant at some point. Oh, I didn't. I shouldn't use that. Hold on. There you go. Hey, nice. That wasn't that hard. The yeah, stream seems straightforward. Do they follow the platform? They do. That's a little tricky. B-sides do lose a bit of the levels. They keep the levels, like, mechanics and gimmicks, but they sort of lose the feel of the levels. Which I think is a bit of a shame. I don't know how they keep them while keeping them, while making the game as difficult. While making the B-sides as difficult as they want them to be. Hmm. Wrong thing? Okay, I'll find- I'll go on the wall then. I think it would be really, really hard to keep as much identity as every level has while keeping them, um, while making them as difficult as they are here. Wait. What do I do here? That's not right. Ah, got it. I got it, I got it. I don't got it. Oof! That was bad timing. I had to grab the thing. Oh, fuck. I don't know if I'll do every B-side, but some of them may take a little too long. And I got- I have a time limit to beat Celeste on stream. Because, uh, DMC comes out. I actually don't know if I'm going to do this as a Frank stream. I'm definitely going to stream it. Like, day one, I'm going to stream it. You all see me- wait, what am I even doing? What's my goal? Jump up there, and then- okay. I didn't even look at the second half of the room. I can't believe Chai is playing Borderlands. She asked me to play this game. This is a Chai quest. She's not even here. Do you think she knows she's not here? She never remembers what time Frank's stream is. Damn. I find that one of the harder maneuvers in the game. I don't think it's supposed to be as hard as I find it. I think I'm bad at it. The uh, slip off one side of the platform and then... Or of a beam and then go on the other side of the beam with your dash. That was totally on me. I psyched myself out. There we go. Once you make that dash, the rest of it's relatively easy. Wait, is Julia streaming? She's she's playing Borderlands, I thought. I thought that was a Borderlands stream. Or a Borderlands game. I didn't know she was streaming. I only gl glanced over at the chat, though. Okay, what am I actually doing here? Let's see. Ah, oh, bad timing. I had to watch that one.
Oof, okay. Maybe I shouldn't time out like that. Wait. Oh, I want to go over that, not under it. I want to go over that one that's on the... Like that. And then I need to time that better. Step by step. Haha, <laughs> that's not correct. Ah, I psyched myself out by watching too hard. Okay, I want to jump when they're there. Oh no, I want to jump when they're coming back. I otherwise don't have enough time. Yeah, I only glanced at the Chapo stream chat, which I assume what they're all doing is playing the Chapo Chap House video game. Oops! <laughs> I'll just dodge the wrong direction, it's fine. No biggie. Wait! Did I just touch the ground? Did I not get my dash back? Did I jump fast enough that I didn't get it back? Is that even a thing? Oh, I bet I jumped off the wall. I bet I didn't touch the ground, I touched the wall. That's actually absolutely what happened. Huh. Seems hard. There we go. Seems easy. Wait, do I have to dash get up there? I don't. I guess I can. There's no reason why I shouldn't. Come to think of it. Because I can just stand on the ground there. And that's not ground. I... Oh, I could've grabbed the edge! That was stupid. Actually, I think I would've died anyway. Because the stuff would've ground as I fell past it. These blocks are coated with gross stuff. I gotta use a dash, so... Oops. Nope, that's not right. Ah! Uh, how do I know it's gross stuff? Well, it's tentacles, so it's either gross or sexy. Or both. Ooh. Whoa! Did not see the swing. Oh, I see. The swing is there so I don't need to use my dash because I will need it later. Almost screwed that up. Nice and easy, though. Uh... I see the, the strat. I need to jump on the wall so I can jump off, even when I'm exhausted. Oh, okay. I should have seen that one coming. That's fine, this bit that bit's hard and easy. Ah, oh, that bit's hard though. This does- this is very Ninja Gaiden. Have I been getting kicked out of sushi restaurants again? Um... No comment. Legally speaking, my lawyer says I'm not supposed to talk about any sushi restaurants picked out or not, so... I don't, in fact, I don't think I'm supposed to disavow knowledge of what sushi is. 
Which is easy, I don't I don't know. Hmm. There we go. Woo, almost screwed up by the easy part. Uh, is this a more of a Nico Mew or a Yoshi's Island? This is a Yoshi's Island. It's definitely not a Nico Mew. I just decided to jump into the fight. This game is wholesome. Oh, I almost recovered that. I totally flubbed it. Please screw that last bit up too, and I almost recovered it too. I don't know. Right? It's definitely not a Paper Mario. There's very little math. And uh, I don't remember what the fourth one was. Which is bad. There's no- I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I thought there was a spring there, my brain was like, there's a spring at the start. Alright, how to feel boyfriend for things that are stored. This game has a little bit of how to feel boyfriend in it, but it's not really a how to feel boyfriend. It's, it's a Yoshi Island. Or a- ooh. I am bad at video games. It's true, actually. The secret come out. Ooh, okay. I think I did that last bit a little weird. That's very fast. And apparently it sticks out a little bit. Okay. Hold on. When do I want it? Oh god, I, uh, I really tight timing things like this. I always psych myself out. <sighs> How much addition to Duke Nukem would this game need to be well liked by critics? Uh, no one is like the Duke. That's my Duke Nukem. That's one of the things he says. There's never enough dupe to go around. That's that's another one. Everybody remembers when he said that, and then he and then he farts on an alien. He says he says I wish there was more Duke of me, and then he farts on an alien and dies. That's really good. Wow, I sure love all the platforming that I'm doing, says Duke, and then he picks, picks a wall. That's not the timing. I'm sucking myself out. I just didn't hold right that time, actually. <laughs> that wasn't even close to the timing. Ugh, I'm so bad at this sort of thing. This specific sort of thing. Mm, and I can't hold right either, or I'll sort of slide against the wall even without grabbing it. That's an extra little bonus. <sighs> ah, 
was bad timing and I tried to save it by sliding, but I didn't do it. That was bad timing. I know. Hey, it's Nuffkin. Here to watch me, Duke Nukem, play Celeste. It's the new bit I'm trying out. It's not. It seems to be going over well. Ooh, okay. That that was surprisingly difficult. Well, not that surprising to me. Okay. That's wrong. Okay, let's see. What is it then? Nope. Yep. Yep. Okay. So the first spring here falls so that you know that the rest of them will also fall. Mmm! Why you gotta do that? Oh! I don't need to land there. I can just do that. Whew. And then the last one is easy, see? How cute. I didn't need to jump there. I've never pretended to be John St. John. Is that his name? Yes. What a, what a dumb name. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. We've all been thinking it. Oh, that's much easier to just do it like that. Hi, Millie. Ooh, okay. Why do you keep playing bad games? I mean, you're not only playing bad games. Okay, this is the first time ducking has actually been a mechanic. I think mostly it's because standing still isn't very interesting in a platformer, but in this case, because of the timing challenges posed by, uh, Mr. Oshiro here. It's actually, like, something they can do something with. Bye. Did not do that one, right? Or that. Wow, that's a way easier way to do that. When I did this the first time, I kept having to try and time it so that I jump on his head there. I didn't realize I could just, like, go on the wall. The same person. That's not how you do it. That was almost correct. There it is. I was I didn't I just jumped. I didn't even look. Nope, wait, hold on. <laughs> I can't use my, uh... Was anybody actually disappointed by Duke Nukem Forever? I feel like no one was, like, actually waiting for it anymore. Like, was there ever- was there- were there actual people 
I mean, no one liked it. And I don't feel like... And the people might have been like, wow, this was supposed to be a good game once, but like... I feel like no one... Bought that. I feel like no one was actually like, oh no, I was expecting so much more from the dude. That's bad! They're still mad about it? Why would they still be mad about it? Oh, that was stupid, I climbed back into it. I don't think the first step is supposed to be this hard. I fucked that up twice. <laughs> I almost landed on his head, which would have been able to save that. Yeah, I'm dead. I don't have to- Oh, I could have jumped back, maybe? Yeah. Did it again! I need to- I'm not touching that button on the bottom. A pre-release- all the pre-release stuff? That's not correct. Oh, I had it. There's some timing involved here. <laughs> More than I have. Haha! <laughs> this is jaunt. That's a perfectly wrong time, actually. Mm, so close. Ceiling. There it is. Yeah, how would you even get all of the code from the previous releases? <sighs> it just seems unlikely. Do you think if I join that voice chat and yell at Chai, she'll join? Should I do it? I'm seriously considering doing it just to- just to shame Chai. Just Chai shame. They'll be all on stream, too. <laughs> hey guys, you're all on Frank's stream right now. Hi, Frank! Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Hi, Frank. Hi, Why is that? <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck, we triggered the Tannis. 
Ah, uh, you idiots! You triggered the Tannis, you stupid yeah, idiots! Yeah, the fucking Tannis cutscene. You Frank, what are you streaming? Celeste. And why yeah, are you in here? here? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I have to figure out if I'm doing that. Uh, do you guys or want to stop for now? Or this up. I mean, are we still doing this? I think we are not for us we to can, stop. Not Halloween about. I just hear the heckle you a little bit. Bye. <laughs> Wait, sorry, sorry, well, I'm well, back. Shell wants Shell wants me to call you fuckers. So is that? Hi, Shell. Yeah, we need to turn Love this you too, into Shell. I'm we are I don't want in here. All right, hold on, hold on. Now hold I'm on. gone again. No. <laughs> Wait, is she actually playing Celeste? Wait, maybe I shouldn't show that on stream because I don't want to. I don't want to reveal usernames of people who have not consented. Oh, maybe maybe Chai is playing Celeste and isn't sure if she wants to be spoiled. I would respect that actually a lot. Because I've done that. <laughs> I didn't look at the name. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is when it tells you this. I've done it a fit, but you can still wall jump even with no stamina. Just nice. Extremely rude, mate. Oh, so this is a level that is very low on story. In fact, it's got basically no story. It's just solid mountain climbing in a beautiful vista. And we've already been introduced to the two concepts. These bubbles, which I can use to dash a short bit in any direction, and the clouds, which bob up and down a bit. And if I jump just right, um, give me a boost, but if I jump wrong, give me an anti-boost. Make me go slower. That's this lady first, though. Hmm. I like how the game sort of plays a fine line of how supernatural this is. Like, he did turn into a giant ghost monster, but Celeste sees it as he just sort of threw a tantrum and chased her. By the way, she blinks one eye at a time, if you look. Oh, not that time she didn't. I know you weren't playing Celeste. I'm not a fool. Although I did say that if you were planning on playing Celeste yourself and didn't want to spoil anymore, I would respect that. What I don't respect is fake friends. Oh yeah, that's right. This has a uh, third mechanic that is ever-present, which is the wind. Which is why there's so much snow falling. The wind... Make jump hard. Except when make jump easy.
<laughs> oh, and the pink clouds vanish. As was just demonstrated. Oops! These clouds are real tricky. So the pink clouds you get one shot at. And the amount of height you can get off them is really, like... It's not just like you get a high jump or you don't. It can be, it can vary quite a bit depending on your timing. Although usually you pretty much just always want the highest, so... Are you sure this ain't Borderlands 2? It looks a lot like Borderlands to me. Oof! Didn't quite pull that off. Okay. So one cool thing about wind blowing against you is it messes with how your jumps off walls work. How do I do this better? So you can... Usually you can't jump off and then go back to a wall, but... Because the wind's blowing this way, you can. Which is what you have to do here. Okay, I got it, I got it. So you have to jump with the wind. Ah, your stamina runs out so fast, I screwed up. Um, Borderlands is absolutely a Paper Mario. Borderlands is a Paper Mario. Look how much fucking math there is in all the guns. It's a game about mo making stats go up. Ooh. I had to do a really specific sequence of climbing and jumping to get around that. Yeah, so Chai, everything is either a Paper Mario... It's Paper Mario if it's got, like, numbers and shit in it. Um... It's, uh... It's Yoshi's Island if it's about jumping around. It's, uh... It's Yoshi's Island if you jump in it. And it's about jumping. It's, uh, How to Feel Boyfriend if it's about store if it's about talking to people. And it's, uh, Nico Mew's Potty Trouble if it's about being horny. I think that's how I put it. I'm not sure that's... I'm specifically a little wary about my description of, um... Yoshi's Island there. I might have put that different. Hey, it's these things again. It's no touchy ground, guys. Oh, that counts as touching the ground. That's fair. Of course it does. Nope. Oh, I think I wanna- I think that was actually almost correct. I mean, it's an RPG, so it's all about numbers. I'll just wing this one. I shouldn't have wung this one! <laughs> Competitive shooters, you might think, oh, what about competitive shooters? That doesn't fit in there. You're wrong. They're all competitive shooters are all about advanced movement. AKA, 
jumping. So they're a Yoshi's Island. Quake is a Yoshi's Island. Team Fortress 2 is a Yoshi's Island. Call of Duty 4, not a multiplayer game. And I'd have to think about it for a sec. Let's see, what is Call of Duty? The Modern Warfare games. See, my conundrum is, are they a hatful boyfriend because they're about the story of of being, you know, they're all about making you feel... Uh, oh, I had to wait for the wind to come back. I see how it is. Nice. So yeah, you'll get exhausted if you don't figure out the wind trick here, so they force you to learn it. Because you won't be able to make it up otherwise, I think. The wall's too high. So yeah, I don't know if it's a had a full boyfriend because it's about the story of being a soldier and like giving you the experience of being a soldier aesthetically, or if it's uh, a Nikamuse potty trouble because Americans are horny for war. Yeah, I know COD 4 is multiplayer. I didn't say it was a multiplayer, it's, it's not competitive. Have we used these things yet? Are these new? These might be new. This might be a new mechanic. You touch the top of them, and they move, and then they keep moving. Oops, I've made several mistakes. Please come back. Ah! Well, <laughs> that wasn't progress. Ah, oh, wow, I can't believe I flubbed the easy jump after the recovery. Okay, I'm just flubbing this one. No! Ugh, okay, I see what I have to do, I think. There we go. I had to jump right off that so that I have enough... I get... To, so that I have enough height to get there without having to use my dash. There we go. I don't think I said the word multiplayer. I'd never accuse COD of not being not multiplayer. Single player is nothing. These have another mechanic to them as well. If you grab the sides, you can make them move around. Doobity, doop doop. I don't remember which one of these is the right way, so. And if they're side moving, you can move them up and down by uh, moving yourself up and down. So anyways, this level's about climbing a mountain. <laughs> More than basically most of the other levels. It's just sort of mountain. Um, so in a way... How to put this? I forget what I was just about to say with in a way. Um... In a way, it's kind of the plainest level. Which I think makes it- it's, it's sort of right in the middle of all the levels, too. I really like the, its placement. It's just sort of like a decently long level. That's just like... Ah, fuck. Hold on. That's just like, this is about... Climbing a mountain. That's the theme for this one. It's not a... Weird... Abandoned city. Or a ghostly hotel. Or any of that shit. Um, and it does have a lot of gimmicks. It's got the clouds, it's got the wind, and it's got these moving platforms. Um, but it's sort of... Oh, this one doesn't have the buttons. Ooh, almost messed that up. 
Um, it sort of helps keep it theme. Now, the clouds and the winds... The wind sort of does make it feel like it's, you know, mountain climbing themed. Like you're actually going up against some elements. Oh, this closes off? That's interesting. Um... But I think this level mostly keeps its theming through pacing. We just sort of went through a pretty long sequence of, like, rooms where there's very little gra safe ground, and there's wind constantly against you, and then you get to this area, and it's sort of a hub where it's very calm, there's no wind, it's sort of like a, a where a plateau happens. I think the way that they keep every level feeling like it's supposed to feel is super- is maybe one of the most impressive things design-wise to me. Wait, hold on. I bet there's a secret. Oh. Chell, I'm- I'm ashamed to say I had to look at your- your joke several times before I got it. I was like, wait, no, there's gotta be a joke there. Like, why can't a mountain be the plainest? I guess Shell just thinks mountains are interesting. Oh, I'm wrong. There isn't anything special there. Huh. Okay. I thought there'd be a secret there. I was so sure of it. Feels like there's supposed to be. Uh, which places haven't I- oh no. Oh, they close off the places you've been already. That's so nice of them. Thank you, game. Anyway, the game also, even if you don't go to any of the side rooms, it forces you to figure out at this point that you can move these blocks left and right. Because, uh... It's the only way to get up to the ending area- ending part of this area. Oh, I guess there's just the one secret- SURPRISE! Oh, man. The secret took me the longest to figure out, and I've forgotten it again. And it's a, it's a Mario reference. But I can't- I've already forgotten it. That's embarrassing. Let me see if I can remember it while I think. Oop. That's right, hold down. That's right. Thank you. I even, when I looked at this block, I even thought to myself, like, Oh, it looks like the Mario block. That's interesting. And I, like, never made the connection that's supposed to look like the Mario block, because I'm a big dummy. This may have actually been the only thing I had to look up in a guide. Because I just didn't get it. Oh yeah, so now I'm in the background jumping on stuff. And I even noticed that. I spent so long in this room trying to figure this puzzle out, I noticed that, like, if I could jump on these, I could make my way up here. But I didn't understand how to make that happen. Yeah, I... I should have realized, but I just, I didn't think it through. In fairness, that was the Mario game. One of the Mario games I barely played and never owned. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I guess so. Oh, there's spikes. Yeah, I store all my video game trivia in my sh uh, shell persona. That's why I name it Shell Game. Oh wait, no! Ah! No, come back! Ah, uh, this is troublesome. Jell, you're the true gamer. I'm merely a vessel. Through which our will is performed upon controllers and keyboards and the like. No! paying attention to where the block was, and I didn't really pay attention to Celeste. Poor Celeste. There we go. 
There's an achievement that I haven't gotten that I think it's probably best gotten on this level. For having, um... I think it's five strawberries following you. So you have to get strawberries from multiple rooms and you have to continuously, like, bunny hop and, and like, stay in the air. Uh, wait. Oh, I see what I do. Wait, can I just do it from here? No? Oh, that's obvious in retrospect. Oops. Oops, oops. Oh, I know what I need to do. Yeah, yeah, never mind. I need to do the jump thing. To conserve stamina. So this room heavily limits your stamina. A lot of rooms do in this level heavily artificially limit your stamina to make certain, to like require you to do certain things. Wait, what? Wait. I see. Can I get ahead of this block? Which block? Oh, the block that I was on in the previous room? Uh, probably I could if I was real... There's, there's things that require you to get ahead of blocks. And I probably could have gotten ahead of that one. Oop! <laughs> God. I think this is one of the best implementations of, like, the wind is fighting you mechanics that I've seen in a game, too. I mean, I could say that about basically any mechanics Celeste has that I've seen in another game. It just does everything really well. Oh, I didn't even see the platform. Up here. And again, they give you these little bits where you can stand still, which serve a gameplay purpose. But they also feel right. Like, they didn't have to put this here. They could have just made you make this jump. It wouldn't have been that much harder. But there's a moment where you can just sort of brace yourself against the rock, and it... It feels very climby, if that is a word, which I know it is not. I shouldn't have used the jump, huh? The dash? I should have maybe not used my dash. Look, I'm sorry, MTD, but racism is a funny thing to me. I think that, that all good humor is racist. And it's time people just accepted that maybe we're all a little bit racist. Like the song from everybody's favorite music. Wait. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm gonna say left. Yep. <laughs> I need water. One moment. At which many people of color were in attendance, yeah. Many people at my birthday party, nice joke. Oh, there's a rock here. Oh, cute. Oh, it's to stop the wind from blowing me, I see. They let you get the strawberry right away on this one, but you have to... Ah, oh, I need to go straight right. Yeah. I see. 
Hmm. That is a bit tricky. Oh, I should have waited for the thing to regenerate. That's wrong. Great right, just like my friends. This is a straights only stream, by the way. I hope you're all respecting my personal beliefs in that regard. I miss the strawberry. I'm not saying that you have to be straight all the time, just while you're here. You need to be horny only for people of the opposite gender. It's important to my beliefs, and if you don't, you're disrespecting my beliefs. I appreciate the lie, but we both know that you won't. But sometimes the lie is the most important part of a friendship. Wait, this ain't right. Please don't be horny for Celeste. It's too nice a game to be horny for. Oh god. I couldn't move because I got stuck crouching. All right, this one. Hard? Oh, it's tricky because I'm doing it very, very wrong. Oh, I gotta hit that early. Okay, I got it. I could make the block fall first. It feels kind of like cheating. Wait, no, I'm not sure I can. Is dash... Oh, I need to land on the top. Of course I can. I just like blanked out and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. What's the plan? And I didn't have a plan. Now I have a plan. That's a much better plan. Whoa, that's fast. See, and now, here's a room where you don't get any respite. Again, they're sort of doing this. I mean, to be fair, a lot of the levels have that flow to them, but it feels more emphasized in this level. Maybe that's just me. Oops. Oh, I gotta wait for the- oh, there's a broken- good thing I failed, I can see the secret wall panel. That's wrong. That's definitely wrong. Saved. 
There we go. <laughs> oh, huh. I guess I don't get to see what the other way is. There's a few times when Celeste does that. Where, like, there's one path and it cuts you off from the other path. I'm not super crazy about it, but it's... The game actually has checkpoints and you can... You don't have to do a whole level from scratch. You, there's, you can start from various checkpoints, so it's not that bad to, like, go back and find the specific things you missed, generally. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, I didn't grab that? I literally pressed it in. I watched myself do it. This is also where you can learn that these things will give you a little bit of a boost. Like the moving platforms from the first level. If you jump off right when they hit the edge of something. Does this wind blow 24-7? Okay, then I know how to get that. There we go. I feel like you should do something tonight. What do you want to do tonight? Snowball! Actually not 100% sure what that thing is. I guess it's a snowball. They work a lot like Mr. Oshiro, but from the other way. Wrong. My fault. There we go. So yeah, I think we're getting close to the end of this level because... It's just sort of full-on blowing wind in my face now. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> you do push-ups, that's correct. That's not a bad idea. I'll just, I'll just do that. Wait, what? I didn't make it far enough. There we go. I had to adjust myself with... There we go. Just had to adjust myself with the diagonal dashes. Tons of little... Even the secrets on this level are a bit plain, I think. It's almost all, like, broken looking walls. I didn't think I'd make that one. Oop. There we go. Saved. 
Whee! After being pushed so harshly by the wind for so long, I gave you a little bit of fun. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. A little bit of fun where you just get to go along with the wind for once. Are you not allowed to play Hollow Knight on the Switch? I think you should definitely play Hollow Knight on the Switch. I just started playing a game on the Switch today. I think it's called... Oh no, I'm gonna forget it. Goro... Shit. Goro... Goro... Star? Hold on, I'm sorry. Look this up or it's gonna bother me the rest of the stream. Goro Goa, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> it's very neat so far. It's sort of more of a work of art than a game, I think. But it's neat. I like it. It's Theo! So, Theo's along on a fun gondola ride with us. I think a worse game would just have the Oshiro storyline happen and not really get mentioned again, but I like that it's actually despite being a, a sort of a side story. It makes the whole conversation feel very natural. The conversation she has with other people feel natural, that she's just, like, talking about the stuff that's happened recently. I don't know how to pinpoint it exactly, but... Uh oh. Theo, that's not good. Theo's kind of worse. I like this bit. Because it's an actual real life tip. If it's not clear, I'm actually hitting the button to make the. to breathe the feather up and down. And I like that it's not Theo saying it, the game actually stops and t talks to you about it.
Like, I think that's a really cool thing. It's like, A, it really connects you to the character very well, but also, like, here's some practical advice. We're talking about these themes, we should, like, actually talk about these. <laughs> but it's what makes this game go from like like I think there's a lot of games especially indie games out there where it's like oh our character has like I don't want to say a mental health issue I want to be broader than that but like you know, they have problems that they work through, and our game is about that, and I don't think many of them would... They don't usually do a very good job. Let me be... Let me put it that way. But Celeste is just a very genuine game. In every way it can be. Oh wait, this is my favorite song, actually. This song actually kicks ass. I think this one actually is my favorite. It's one of them anyway. Okay. I gotta wait longer on that song. There we go. Not that hard. Just gotta get the timing. similar to a room that was in another level. Oh well. They're probably just playing around with the theme. More moving box! I think this is where the B-sides actually take a spike in difficulty, if I remember correct. But I'm warmed up now, so... It'll be fine. I almost got that. Haha, <laughs> spike in difficulty. I guess you could take- you could say they take a- Things start m moving block towards the harder end of the cliff. Okay, I should probably dash over that, huh? Yeah, probably. Oh, that's much easier. Why wasn't I doing that? By the way, another instance of the game being nice to you, but very subtly, and not to take anything away from you. Uh, those blocks, those places that block had to fit through were exactly the size of that block. But, um... 
if it's within a pixel or two of fitting, it will actually sort of slide itself in anyway without running into the wall and disintegrating. Like it theoretically should. Yeah, this song's really rad, and it, again, just suits the sort of nature of the level so well. Oh no, that's dead. Dang it. Can I even do that? Is that even the correct thing to do? Yes, okay, there we go. Oh, but I gotta dash anyway? Wait, that's weird, then why would I go there? I didn't forget that. Oh, I gotta go there because I'll, I'll get exhausted. Got a dash. Oh, I even remember this room. Yikes. I've been going pretty fast so far, but this might take a bit. This one took me a long time. I have to jump over. But figuring out the right places to be, and then figuring out how to get to those places, and then actually doing the correct moves all took me a very long time. Do I have to dash over? Maybe. Haha! <laughs> Oops. Wait, what? Ah, oh, I gotta jump back over again. Oh, I almost nailed it. Too much momentum from the block. Yeah, these people definitely studied the old masters. They are not... They're very willing to take ideas from, uh... From other games that they like a lot, such as Yoshi's Island. Ah. Again, another reason why I think it's not great to compare it to, uh... This game to like the uh, Kaizo Trap games or the I Want to Be the Guy fan games that it usually gets compared to. And I think even the people who made this came out of that community, I'm not sure. But I think that at least one of them had made. I don't know much about the people who made this game, I should look them up. But I believe that they had made something like one of, like, worked on one of them. So it's not like there's no inspiration. Oops. There we go. Ooh, I almost ran into the spikes at the end. Like, I, I knew, I was like, don't run into the spikes, don't run into the spikes. So my brain's like, run into the spikes? Okay. Sounds like you want to run into the spikes. 
Because the thing is, it really sounds like you want to run into the spikes. Oh, I jumped too fast! If you jump fast enough, you count as still being in the air. Which is useful for speedrunners, I think, because they get to keep their speed, but... Not ideal for prank runners who want their dash back. <laughs> always put salt in your eyes. Uh, always put, always put, never, never, always put salt in your eyes. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's nice. They just put that little area for me to look at the next part. And then I still screwed it up. Oh, I don't need to go for the wall. What am I doing? Because I knew that this was too fast to transition for you to see what's ahead, but... Uh, so they're like, okay. That's not... they're not working the way I thought they were. Yep. Yep. The game's even pretty nice too about restarting with the cycles. Um, like in a lot of games you'd have to restart and like the platform in front of you would be just moving up into the spikes and you just have to wait for it to reset to be in the right spot to jump onto. But Celeste, if I die... You know, as the platform is in exactly the right position for me to start jumping on it and to go right away. Which is like... Thanks! It's one of those minor annoyances that happens in every game, but you just accept it. But Sus is like, no, why don't we make a good game? Wait, is Nefkin's being real that salt is bad in everything? Jesus. That's absolutely insane. Wait. How do I do that bad? Salt as a health food? What's wrong with you? You know, every once in a while I think to myself, man, I think we tease Nufkins a little too hard. But I'm always, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's not enough. It's not enough. Probably fine to tease the thing creatures that aren't human, right? Sorry, but I have strong opinions on salt. Yeah, like I don't know. He's gotta be, like, a demon, Chai, because if Nufkins was an angel, I would have gotten in trouble by now for associating with him. Just like, I'm not supposed to associate with- oh no. It's pretty clear that I'm probably not supposed to associate with angels, right? Like, a universe wouldn't let that happen. Oh, like that kind of like the best true.
That was terrible. Wow. As a young child, young Franklin West, and this is true, you know how some kids sneak into the- I don't know why I'm having trouble with that bit. You know how some kids sneak into the kitchen and like, eat a bunch of sugar? Um, I never like doing that, the sugar is mostly flavorless when you just eat sugar crystals, I never really got it. But I would do that with salt. I would just, when no one was in the kitchen, I would sneak in and I would get like a handful of salt and just eat the whole handful of salt. This was not uncommon. Oh, sick, Chai. Oh my God, you guys have both done that? Thank God. I don't think I've ever met anybody who's at least admitted to doing that. I panicked. I panicked. I mean, I didn't do it every day, but I probably did it. I don't know. Often? I don't know what often is. I don't. I mean, as a kid, I don't remember. <laughs> but I would say I did it many times. Why am I going to the front? Holy shit! That was recovery. Okay. Get that out of the way. I remember this room too. I'm just gonna have to play this by ear, but I think I got it. Oh, really? So the key in this room is to get the blocks out of the way, basically. Oh, I forgot to steer. One time you made a pie for home and uh home. Oh, oh my god, why did your Wait, why did your partner have to like the pie? Did no one else eat the pie? It was just your partner? Oh, nope. <laughs> so you knew the pie was bad. And your partner was like, I will take this, this pie-shaped bullet for you. For us. You were like, I ain't eating that pie. I know what's in it. Or what's not in it, specifically. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I need to be on the right side. Must be. Oh, I see what I gotta do. And then I climb up. And then I go over. And then I miss. Oh no, no, no! He's still your best friend. Friendship formed in, in Home Vex is our the best friendships. Talk my life. I don't think I want to steer it after that point anyway. Oops. I'll just wait right here.
No! Okay, how do I do that? That seems hard. I messed it up. Yep, I remember this room. Get out of the way. Nice. There we are. the wind stops. Okay, he's just gonna start blowing the other way, huh? Right when I need to not to. I see, we're alternating wind directions here, so... This is the last room. This looks fucking hard. Jump. Do a tiny jump off that. Another short hop, another short hop, a big hop. A big hop. Christ. Alright. Doing short hops off these clouds is difficult. much harder than doing the full hops, I think. So I'll just keep running into the wall of spikes instead. Why did I dash? I missed the part where we started talking about Xanax. Oh, I'm glad that my stream is making MTD play new games, because that's all I really want. <laughs> Danny for breakfast. Dang it! I know, Chai, that's why I was confused. I was like, okay, we're guys talking about Xanax, and then I was like, but... Scrolling up, it doesn't look like she started. I'm not seeing the start of this conversation. I'm looking at every message twice. Hey. I did a big jump off it. That's wrong. Don't do it. Hmm. 
that's the difficult part. Those, those spikes are like pixel perfect accurate. So you can get cut by just like the little outcroppings. That's the hard jump right there in the middle. I think the rest of it is tricky, and I'll probably die on it, but I think that bit's the hard bit to master. Hmm. I need to stop doing that though. Because it makes me feel stupid when I do that. I thought I had that one. <laughs> hey, real talk? Mavis Beacon really depressed me as a kid. Um, because it was, like, one of the things I was supposed to do sometimes. Like, my dad would be like, okay, go play it or whatever, I think. Or maybe it was just my own volition, I can't really remember. Uh, but I discovered that if you failed enough times on the task, like, really poorly, she'd be like, that's okay, you can move on for now. And I thought that was, like, really fun, so I did it a bunch. And then she kept comforting me and being like, that's okay. And then I was like, this is actually really depressing that she's, like, comforting me and, like, telling me things are okay even though it's hard, and now I feel depressed. So now Mavis Beacon brings up vague feelings of depression for me. I mean, as far as childhood memories from Frank go, vague feelings of depression ain't so bad. Hold on, gotta think here. I was worried those spikes coming out would kill me, but they did. Yeah, I am a childhood soldier, and they were, they made a story out of my life, and I said, can you make it a video game instead, because that would represent me better? And they said, okay, we'll make a video game documentary of your life, and that video game is called Metal Gear Solid 2. And then Revengeance is like the second bit of my life. That's sort of my, my current job. That's a straight up dash, not a diagonal one. Try how much COD did you play? I played quite a bit. But I was more of a Halo man. Played a lot of Halo. That's wrong. Oh no, the wind! Oh! Rescued. I did not prestige twice, but that's because I didn't want to prestige. I prestige never. Which solves several 
well, I thought prestiging was stupid because I liked having the weapons that I had and I didn't want to have to stop having them. But also I realized that if I didn't prestige and I got matched with like these good players who did prestige, they'd be like, who's this like newbie? Because there weren't any levels other than prestiging, so no one would... Everyone would just be like, oh, it's just this idiot, and then I would beat them with knives only. this last bit. These rooms here, by the way, don't reset their cycles to be nice to you because they can't. So, oh my god, why did I jump? I just psyched myself out. Since, since the things move to the beat of the music, they actually keep their cycles even when you die. of a neat thing, I think. I should narrate you playing DNF on- yeah, I would do that. I would, like genuinely. Be your DNF stream man! I'm dead. As soon as I missed that dash, there was nothing I could do. I couldn't climb up to the... get the diamond. Okay, let's not fuck this up again, please. Okay, let's not fuck this up again, please. There it is. Okay, so I get to start next stream on a beast side too. I'm gonna do one more level. Seems fun. Oh, the mirror temple. Right. That's cute. Yeah, Theo's actually, and I like that Theo, as he grows on Celeste, also grows on you, like... Like, I think you're definitely supposed to be off-put by him at first a little bit. I mean, he literally shouts YOLO the second time you see him, so... That's, you know... What it is. But, like, as you get to know him, like, you're like, oh, he's just a really enthusiastic guy, and he's nice. What does it mean that you like Thea when you met him? Uh, that you're the sort of person who would shout YOLO really loudly at someone you barely know? Tell me I'm wrong, Chai. Don't even try and deny it. Oops. Secret. 
I like that secret. I like secrets that make you backtrack from the start of a level. I don't know why exactly, I just like them. And because I always do that anyway, so I just like it when the game's like, yeah, there actually is something here. Anyway, this level's a good one. Just kidding, they're all good. Oh, right! So this mechanic is kind of weird. So I think they give you this room just to experiment with it, because there's nothing in this room at all. These things move anytime you dash. And they'll move to the end. And if you jump on- if you're on one, you can get a big boost. Theo's phone. I'm sure that mirror is just a normal mirror. You have stopped agreeing with everything you said at the Bill Cosby. Choose to remember things? Dang, I didn't know we could do that. Anyway, this room's fun and all. Well, let's get to the level. New mechanic! These red- the red balls that instead of sending you a specific distance, send you... Send you until you either dash out of them or until they hit something. Something, excuse me. Do the dash. It's not gonna work. Really? I didn't think I'd pick that far left. New mechanic? Oh no, no, wait, we've had keys before. I'm lying. It's not a new mechanic at all. An old mechanic. Get a boost? Wait, okay, what am I doing here? So, so this level's sort of a... Temple. I mean, it is a temple. It's it's sort of an adventurous temple, and as a result, this level's the most non-linear net, not non-linear yet. Some a lot of the other levels have had parts that are non-linear, like that bit in the mountain where I could go any direction to any of the rooms I wanted. But uh, previously, that was mostly to get strawberries. Okay, I have to see what I have to do here. Um. And to be fair, a lot of the time it's get to get strawberries in this level too, but this level does have a lot of sort of branching paths and several different hub areas. Which make it feel very much like a temple in a video game sense at least. I mean not really like a real life sense. I don't think temples usually have a bunch of branching paths and hidden passages, per se. They do in video games. That's good enough for me. I also really like that the lights light up when you go past them. It doesn't have any mechanical purpose, but it's this nice little touch. Ooh, bad timing. It's this nice little touch that helps make the place seem desolate and helps make it feel more like you're exploring it yourself. And also just... But also, as with a lot of things in Celeste, serves a dual purpose of... Um, of subtly helping the player know things, in this instance, where you've already gone. Damn, we're just talking about Kanye, huh?
<laughs> Shy cries at Kanye. We press this button. Yep, yeah, if it's not clear, those green buttons get pressed when you dash into them. Oh, I see. Secret room. Bonk. These red balls are very good. And I appreciate that you- Nope! Noticed. Once you have the key, it stays with you until you use it, too. Which hasn't really been relevant in previous levels, but is somewhat relevant here. I see. Wait, that's just- that's not a room below, below me. I see how it is. There's gonna be a lot of, in this level, dashing where there isn't a platform, and knowing that the platform is going to be there when you- because you dashed. Which is a really fun type of, like... I don't know. I guess it also kind of fits the theme of the level, where you have to make leaps of faith. I almost messed that up, but it's fine. Cover. Shall remind me, you haven't played this game, right? Bonk. That's wrong. It's because I held right instead of just dashing and not holding it. And that makes you run into the wall. Ah, oh, man, that's so tight. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go over here. Like I said, this bit's very freeform. Ooh, that's so much fun, I love that. There's so many momentum jumps in this. Oh, that's a death. That's, that's not a fun place. But there's so many, like, momentum jumping things in this level, which I think is really fun. I'm a big fan of this level, playing-wise. It's such a good level. Woo! Made it. <laughs> I kind of freeformed that. That's not what I intended to do. But yeah, I think the game starts getting real inventive with this. Like, up to this point, it's put in new mechanics, but they're things you have seen in other games. And I think this is when it starts getting really inventive. With some of its mechanics, and it really starts doing its own shit. There we go. Like that. Like, that's such a cool little puzzle. You have to dash to, and grab the diamond while you dash, and then you have enough time to dash back. That's so cool! Don't think I've ever seen that. And I think there's just this room left, and then we'll go back to the main room for this part. I'm gonna do this the easy way. Haha! <laughs> Fuckers. Oh wait. I'm the sucker. It was me. There we go. So yeah, we've just cleared that all out? 
Caution Park? Yep, we did. I remember. I see the pun shell. God, his little text banjo kazooie noises echo. That's good too. <laughs> How'd you end up in a mirror? Okay, it's Chai, actually. Oh shit, his character portrait has a little shine on it. That's great. It's literally Chai, though. Oh, later, Theo. Oh, she walks a little bit forward on her own. Oh, that's so fucking good. Maybe I'm giving this game more credit. Like, there's times when I definitely read more into design than was probably intended. But like, so in the cutscene, she walked a little bit forward and then they gave control back to me. But since I don't know I have control, it means she's going to stand there on her own for a bit. Kind of like she's being pensive, and then I'm going to be like, oh, I have control, and then I can move. And it's almost like she was actually, like, it's, that's a really cool way to simulate, like, the player. I think I've seen that in other games, in fairness, but I think it's a really cool way to simulate, like, the character being like, no, wait, come back. Oh, wow. Well. Dang it. I don't think I noticed that the first time I played. So this is also introducing a cow. Oh, nice, just like a skull, huh? Sick. A new mechanic-ish, which is darkness. It's not that relevant. The game doesn't bug you with it that much, but it is there. It is a thing. Okay, strawberry over there. Wait, how do? Oh, I see how do. No, I don't. Oops! Might want to hold up. Okay, so I gotta get over there without dashing. So we do this. Whee! Except we don't do that. Oh, I have to hold left. I'm smart. It's a fun little method of transit. I think this was the level I had the hardest- well, no, actually, I already said the time I had the- the level I had the hardest time finding the secret tape on was that level I already mentioned with the Mario block, which is just sort of like, I should have realized, but I think this was the- I spent a lot of time here, too, trying to find the secret. I think at one point I tried to light every light in the temple? I didn't actually do that. I mean, most of them you light automatically. Anyway, I think. Hopefully I don't forget it here. If I do, I'll have to go back and get it off stream. I think I remember what I need to do. Oh, frickin'. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. Good point that it doesn't reset when you die. Hmm. Oh, I know what I need to do. Much like how the strawberries don't reset when you die either. Like, you can go out and grab a strawberry and then die to come back and it still works. I think that's all the strawberries for this area. Nice statue. Oop. Oop! I fucked that up. But yeah, I agree. It's again, it's one of these things where it's a useful gameplay mechanic, and then it also is thematically appropriate. It's just one of these things that Celeste is so fucking good at. Where are we going? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What do I do here? Oh, I see. So I figured out. I li like there's so much this that isn't even like platforming at all. It's just pure exploration. It's so cool that the game can shift mechanics and not feel like a different game or anything. Oh, that has to be my last one, huh? Yes, it does. Nice! God, Celeste is the hot one. I mean, you're not totally wrong. Oh good, here's the B-side. Okay, I guess it wasn't the B-side I had trouble finding. Maybe it was like the last strawberries or something? Or something else that's hidden on this level? I have to say, this might be one of the least fun 8-bit um, songs, though. Not to cast too many aspersions or nothing, but... I think the song's just really chill, and it doesn't translate that well. It's pretty good. It's not bad. There's literally no bad music in this game, but... Mad bad timing. There we go. I had to dash upwards. It's a crystal heart that's hard to find in this level. That's right. And I think I was just on the totally wrong track for it or something. I probably won't. We'll see if I remember when I get to wherever it is. If I don't remember, I probably won't get it, but that's okay. I remember this. Which you could have gotten a hit from by climbing up high in the previous room, I think. There's a lot of things like that where it's like, things that are really well hidden have hints. Things that are less well hidden don't have hints. Did this already. What's down here? Bonk! Of course, there's gotta be a thing where you duck into an alcove to avoid moving blocks. That's the classic.
also a good way to make sure the player knows that they can just dash into a wall to, uh, to make the blocks move. They don't actually have to dash anywhere specific. Well, this is quite a room. Uh, yep. Yeah. a little spot where you can land in between spikes just as a tiny little oops you missed it you didn't if you didn't pay attention ahead of time you wouldn't realize that that's for landing b site is the part of the cassette <laughs> yeah most people just would take that half off and toss it out or re you know they take two b sides from a tape and use that to make a new tape that they could record their music on, right? That's what cassettes were for. It was music. I'm a bit of an amateur historian, you see. Oh, here's a weird thing. This area, which as far as I can tell is here just- oops, I didn't mean to walk into the spikes. Just so that you can see the switch there. You, you I, I don't know why else it's there. Which is weird because you can already see the gate and the ball, the red ball, just when you walk in the room. So I don't- I don't know. It's one of the- it's like the only area in this game that doesn't- like it looks so purposeful and it has no real purpose. And so for a really long time, I thought that's where the Crystal Heart was, and I spent a while trying to figure out what the secret was from that. It's just this random thing. Uh, did I clear out this whole area? Did I do everything? Oh, nope. I think I just saw a bit I didn't do. <laughs> Oh, no, never mind, I didn't. I think that's everything. But it's possible it's not. Oh, I kind of remember what the, uh... Oh, I think I remember now. Yeah, I do. I think I remember how to get the Crystal Heart. Oh, there it is. That's not the crystal heart, but I know there's this thing hidden here. This was a strawberry I found very hard to find when I did all strawberries. Oh no, this is the crystal heart. So, we're gonna skip this door by sneaking the key past it, which will be relevant later. Oops. <laughs> Door sham shut behind us, because now we're real into it. What was the thing about Kanye? What's the coolest thing about Kanye? I do want to hear the coolest thing about Kanye. Please tell me. So you can break this ground here. And now we can use the key on this lock. Because we, we snuck it past. And that gets us here. And I don't really remember this room because I don't remember most of the rooms in this game. Just the details. Or just the generous, not the details. And we do some cool bit of splunkin'. Oh no. 
<laughs> and there's the crystal heart. So yeah, it's a bit of misdirection because you have to find the key in the early area. But you don't have to find a second key. You can actually just sneak past the key you get. Which is rad as hell. Anyways... Oops, I think I missed a strawberry. Oh well. Anyways, that's been the mirror temple. Wait a minute. Dun dun dun. Oh, yeah. I'm controlling this thing, if that's not obvious. Oh, can't get- so I can get through dirt, but it can't get through that. This is the game's way of telling you what these things can and can't do. They want to keep- they- they want to eat you. So this is the mirror temple. It's that real shit. This is where the weirdness is made a little more explicit. So, the mountain takes what's inside you, as what might have been obvious already. The mountain takes what's inside you and uh, reflects it outwards, hence why this is the mirror tower. Whoops! This is Celeste is a magical realism mountain. I fucked up. I want to be on this. Oops. <laughs> Funk. Ugh. Okay. This side. Wait for it to stop. Then jump. Because we got to play as them earlier, we got to see how those things work. Which I think is a fun way to introduce an enemy. 
the first enemy this game has had. So this part gets a lot more sort of filled. I want to try and show this. You can jump on them too when they turn into that, which will also blast you away. And also the explosion will break the blocks. Oof. Now the blocks don't stay broken, I guess. That's one thing that they don't keep. But, so this, this part, this level is actually really interesting in that, like, the rest of the game, there's generally, like, a correct path you have to take. But because the enemies here are sort of always moving and, and vary a lot, like, there's... Without really getting any easier, um, this level is a lot more variable in how you can go about solving it. And there's a lot of rooms that are just sort of very open. Which makes an interesting mirror to the beginning part, where again, it was also very open. I'm not gonna break open every one of these bricks. I bet some of them have, like, strawberries, but whatever. Oops. Oh, night made. Whoa. The game also slows down when they get really close to you, which I think is both a really neat thing. Like, it looks cool, but also it's like... It lets you dodge a little better if they get close. But they won't attack you in these safe zones. They maybe can't even see you? Oh, damn, Shell, you missed it. You really missed the twist. Yeah, we got, so we got, we found a mirror. Uh, let me sum it up really quick. We got to the top of the, or the inner part of the, the end of the mirror temple. And, uh, we found a very big mirror and we fell into it. And we ended up in this terrible mirror world. And then Madeline taunted us for a while and told us, like, she warned us about this. And then we said, why did you do this to Theo? And she said, I'm just a part of you. There were other parts of you, too. The Mirror Temple just brought them out. There, now you're caught up. Basically saying that this... Basically, she said that this place is, is created by... Aw, oh, nice, nice, nice. That this place is created by Madeline. Bonk. And these guys are evil enemies that will charge into us, but you can jump on them and then they turn into little explodey bats. Oh, they can activate switches too, that's right, I forgot that. So yeah, it's not a coincidence that you start this level immediately after Celeste has a panic attack. Because this is, I think, essentially representative of those parts of it. Dang it. Okay, wait, how do I do this? Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing it all around there. Oh, uh, I missed it. Well, I missed a couple strawberries there by not going down.
<laughs> what is Zeka not doing it for Bat Week? It's true, it's technically Bat Week. Wait, isn't there a place I can go here? So now that we've been fighting with the monsters for a bit... Um... Wait, why did I spawn there? Where am I? Okay, I know where I am. That was a little disorienting. Sorry, now that we've been fighting with the monsters for a bit, we're sort of back to the hub concept. Where, uh... Bonk. We have to- we, we, we're sort of back to an open-ended part of this again, where we have to find our way through and figure out where to go, as much as what we're doing. Only now, of course, we have to contend with these... these big, bad, beefy boys. And we had to get him to activate the switch there, which also conveniently traps him. And there's key. Oops! Key one of I don't remember how many. But we can see the big glowy light from over there, which is always where we want to go, of course. They do seem to light your power. I guess they do have a mechanical purpose, and that, like... But you don't... My point is, like, they don't activate anything. You don't need to turn them on. They just sort of happen. Oops, I made a mistake. Oh, I saved it! Haha! <laughs> Being clever. Is this the main room? It looks like the main room. It is the main room. Wait, what do I do here? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, of course. Nope, 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 no dash. <laughs> Big bad beetle forks. I totally lost my nerve. Hey, you know, I wonder if that's a theme here, too. Since this whole temple is about, like, battling, encountering something scary and keeping her- trying to keep her nerves. And at the same time, there's a bunch of leap of face you have to make, where you know these platforms will be there if you dash. But... You have to- they're not there before you dash. I don't know if I'm stretching or not there. I might be. You're a big fan of the Big Bad Beetle Borgs. I'm sorry we did it without you. And here's key two? Of maybe two? I don't remember. I think there's four, but I'm just sort of guessing. A fun thing is that as you unlock these two doors in the main room, 
the main room gets much more dangerous because this dude's now out and about way more often now. But our real goal, I think... Oh no, it's not. We could get up here. Ah, I knew there was a room where you could do this. You have to go up here and talk to Theo. Well, you don't have to. I think you can skip this conversation, actually. <laughs> Excuse me, you own a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers vs. Beetleborgs comic? Why? Okay, you didn't really miss any Beetleborgs, I will tell you. Because you have given me this precious bit of info about yourself, I will tell you, you, you I just I just called one of the enemies a big, beefy bad guy, and then Shell called him a big, bad Beetleborg. That's all you missed. The worst. Anyways. Sorry, I'm just processing that there's, like, Beetleborgs comics and that Julia has one. That's a lot to take in. So Theo's got his own, you know, emotional issues playing out here. And I like that they don't like- I mean, it's- it's not exactly subtle. He's got tons of eyes on him and he's locked in a crystal, but like... I do like that- I think they don't ever really like spell it out or say, This is what Theo's dealing with and this is his side story. Oops. Okay, so I think we did the right half of this area. Now we gotta do the... Wait, do we have to do the left half or are we done? I mean, I'm not done. Because I still got this. Hey, big monster guy, follow me down here, please. I need you to open the door for me. Thank you. Oops, I fell back. Oh, there's a third key, so we probably need that key. Or something. I am not sure for what. What? How did I slip between them? Huh. My dash is keeping me in place? Whatever, I'll just do it like this then. That's weird. I don't think dash has worked like that. Oh wait, this is where I just did. I'll get... I'll get strawberry. Need strawberry. Require strawberry. Ah, I thought I tried that. Get strawberry. 
Harbor, I get. Oops. How is this so weird? I just, I just miss you defending that Beetleborg, having Beetleborg's comics isn't weird. I'm not even gonna respond to that. I don't have to tell you, Julia. You know. There it is. And here's the third key we question mark me. I don't actually know where this goes yet. I feel like if I've seen the door this goes to, I haven't noticed. Where's that straw bear come from? Oh, I haven't gone here yet. Oh, no, other way. There it is. Thank you for straw bear. The Beetleborgs are a cultural icon. <laughs> Bowie the Beatles and the Big Bad Beetleborgs, aka the five Bs of American culture. Okay, Chai, you know how Power Rangers is actually just a Japanese TV show with like the parts where they're out of the suit cut with American actors? The Big Bad Beetleborgs is the exact same thing, only the Japanese TV show they're ripping off, they're taking clips from, is worse. And the time when the kids are out of the suits are younger kids, and there's only three of them, and they hang out in a haunted mansion with a vampire and a ghost and a mummy and shit. And a Frankenstein. Oh, the third key is for a strawberry. So the third key is optional. You only need to get two of the three keys in that section, which helps make it more non-linear. But if you want to get 100%, you need all three. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Whoa, careful, buddy. You could hurt somebody. Primal level, we are the people born. On, a, on all levels but physical, I am a beetle board. Dang it, I could have just stayed on the wall and he would have. He would have goombed himself. Hmm. Goomba stomp is a pretty specific. Now I think we're back to another linear section where we avoid monsters. Whoa! But where button? I give you a spring if you destroy that bot. So that you can still get to this angle. Oh, I didn't want to step on him actually. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Nice try, buddy. But I'm here to save Theo. I did go down to light the lamps. I want to light the lamps. Oh, 
Game's so fun. <laughs> I really like that. This thing is like, I'm not sacrificing myself, are you kidding? I won't do that. So here's a new button. And a new mechanic. We get to throw Theo around. And it feels surprisingly good to do. We also cannot... these. Every room will not let us leave unless Theo is is with us. The door simply will not open. <laughs> Madeline does lift weights. This guy. Ah. Oops! I thought I'd hit him with Theo, but I failed to hit him with Theo. I think if you drop Theo right on him, Theo can Goomba stomp the monster, but just hitting him in the face will knock the monster aside, but won't necessarily, uh... Won't actually kill the monster or anything. Theo can push buttons for you, but I don't think I want him to here, actually. It's causing me more harm than good. Oh, and you can't dash while you're holding PR. You can only jump. Again, a lot of ways to solve this room, actually. I could have gone the whole high route, and I didn't. Oh, Theo can activate the buttons, too, which is very relevant. Much more relevant than using them to fight the monsters. Ah, oh, I thought I'd give it him. Oh no! <laughs> At the last second I realized, wait a minute. There's spikes. It's just the last moment. Again, the addition of Theo makes this level even more variable. Theo plus the monsters. It just helps make it even more... Uh... Ah, I tried. Um, which really does help give this level a sort of free form. Not quite combat, per se. But definitely a sort of... I don't know how to put it exactly. A good feel. It's good. Where's the button? Oh, I see the button. This I, I found this strawberry really hard to get. Let me see if I can do it. I don't remember what was so hard about it. Because I need to either throw Theo into that button, or have the monster hit that button. And I remember this one taking forever. <laughs> I 
I think possibly it took forever because I was doing it wrong for a very long time. Yeah, I think hop on head throw Theo is the strat. And I think I didn't when I first did that I thought I had to get the monster to hit the button and it was really, really hard, like nearly impossible. Stop it. There we go. Gotcha. Oops. I should have thrown him and dodged. Okay, whatever. I got the strawberry, though. So, yeah, that strawberry, I don't know. It took me a very long time to realize I could just throw Theo at the button. I should've just gone through. After that really stylish thing I did, I messed up the basic part up. I think if he throws just at the door, he'll come through with you, but oh well. <laughs> Thanks, Theo. Can I place him? Oh, yes, I can. That's right. I forgot. You can just place him. I can just press to. Oh, careful, buddy. Oh, you knocked, you knocked Theo off. Extremely rude. <laughs> oh, you can't just do that. Wait, does he explode in green? Oh, he does. That's such a cute touch. Oops, I meant to put him down. Okay, I'm sorry. He was on that platform. We all saw him. Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. Wait. Ah, I got it. Yep. Except I hit the spikes. That took me a little too long. That's just like a pure puzzle. Also, you notice the eyes are all following where Theo is, not where you are, which I think is cool. Wait, does Theo dying actually count as two deaths? And like my death counter? Thank you. I can't talk that. Well, for Theo, it's vanity. I'll just leave you here for a sec, Theo. I don't know what the button is. I'll be back. Oh, there it is. It's literally right above the door, you say? Interesting. It's literally right in front of me? That doesn't seem likely. I really like the end picture here. 
<sighs> the last. Alright, I'm gonna call it there. About 40. Next time I will do this B-side. And then I'll go on to... Reflection. Reflection. Yes, I remember this level. Maybe I'll do the whole thing next time? I can't remember if there's seven levels or eight. Oh, yes I do. I do remember, but I may, I may do... I may do that next time. We'll decide when we get there. Anyways, uh, good night, everybody. Three Frank Dreams. I don't know what that means. How do I quit the game? Help, I'm not good with computer. Please help, I'm not good with computer. How, how to quit? How, I, I can't leave. I'm stuck.